Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So I was actually going through some of my Facebook memories. Um, a Facebook memory popped up and it had shown me an old photo. I'm just going to bring it up here of me and my classmates from dental hygiene school. So it's really small, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys right here. Whoops. Let's not delete the video. Okay. It's really, really blurry, but that's me. Okay. Where's my finger? right there with the really blonde hair. Um, I'm going to actually upload the photo on my Facebook group. If you guys are in the Facebook group Dental L Tutoring, I put it in there. If you are a student of mine, I put it in there too in our um, Students of Dental L Tutoring Facebook group so everybody can kind of see it. But it got me thinking about my dental hygiene program and kind of how I feel about everything now. So I've been a dental professional for about 15 years. And I've been through a lot. You know, I was, a, I was a dental receptionist, dental assistant. I was a dental hygienist. I did have to take the dental hygiene program twice. If you haven't heard me say that before, I do have a video on that explaining how that happened. To make a long story short, my school had gone bankrupt. So all of the students lost their credentials. We were, in my class, we were three weeks away from graduating, three weeks. It didn't matter. We had to take the whole program again somewhere else. So I took the dental hygiene program twice, literally twice. Um, I became a restorative hygienist after that. And then last but not least, I did open up my, my own dental hygiene practice a year ago, um, a mobile dental hygiene practice. So I, so I go to patients' homes, nursing homes, hospitals, offices, for teeth cleaning and whitening. And actually one more thing is I am opening up my own at home practice in a month when I am moving and I was able to um, build my own office in my own home. So that's very exciting. So I will still be going to patients' homes to clean their teeth, but if they want to, they can also come to me, which is very exciting. It will, it will be nice for teeth whitening because a lot of patients don't necessarily mind coming to me. Um, so that will be nice for me too, right? But I wanna to talk to you about the dental hygiene program because if you're a new dental hygiene student or a new dental hygienist, or you're thinking of becoming a dental hygienist, I get the same question all the time. And that is, is it worth it? A lot of dental hygienists will tell you, no, it's not. And I'm going to explain that a little bit, but I'm also going to talk about why it is worth it 110%, but I'm going to backtrack a, a, a lot for you guys. I hated my dental hygiene program. I took it twice, okay? I hated it both times. I probably cried every day. It was very, very stressful. I felt that teachers did not like me. I felt that they picked on me. That's just how I felt. It was very hard for me to get good marks. I did get good marks, but I was that person that had to study every day, every night. I had no life. I hated every second of it, but would I do it again? Yes, because dental hygiene is the most amazing um, career. I don't know how else to say it, but I always wanted to be a dental hygienist, not because of the money, not because of this, not because of that. I just, I just always wanted to be working with teeth, as silly as that sounds. I'm just very, very passionate about it, which is why I became a tutor and why I had opened up or have my own practice because I want to do things my way. I want to be able to talk to patients and help patients my way and not have to work for somebody else working eight hours, being so sore at the end of the day and never getting a raise. It happens, right? But I'll tell you why a lot of dental hygienists will tell you to go into something else. It's because things have definitely changed. We don't make as much as we used to, um, and we have a lot more responsibilities, um, and we don't often get insurance benefits. We don't get sick days often. It does depend on where you live. It does depend on who you work for. But that's the consensus, is we don't often get sick days. We don't often get insurance benefits. We work so hard and don't get a lot of thank yous. You know, patients aren't happy to see us. So that's hard for anybody to have to work so hard, have to be happy, have to be smiling, 
and to never get a thank you, that can be hard. You are working in offices where it's usually mostly female, so that can be hard, right? We all know we kind of, yeah, I don't know how else to say it, but it's hard to work for a bunch of females. Like you need some males in there to kind of even things out. But that's why people say don't get into it because it's hard work. You are like this for most of the day. I mean, not like this, but you know what I mean. You're hunched over. You have to work around patients. You have to deal with patients who are in bad moods, not happy. Um, and we don't really get a thank you. It's hard to call in sick because we get in trouble. We don't get paid as much as we used to. So you kind of are probably thinking, oh my God, that sounds horrible. But you know what, you guys? Dental hygiene is amazing. You just need to find a good office. There are good offices out there, but unfortunately there's a lot of bad offices. So find an office that pays you what you're worth. It's very important to work for an office where you mesh well with the staff. It happens where personalities might not mix. If you aren't happy, if you don't feel comfortable, I hate to say it, but go to another office. Look for something else. I have known many, many dental assistants, dental, hy um, 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 dental hygienists in my career where they have said, oh my goodness, this is the best office ever. I have worked for six other offices. I hated it. Now I love it, you know, or they say, this is the worst office ever. I can't wait to leave. And then they send me a text, you know, saying, oh my goodness, I found the best office. I'm so happy. So being for the right office makes all the difference. So if you're thinking about being a dental hygienist and you're nervous because you are hearing all of these other dental hygienists telling you not to do it, don't listen to them. Follow what you want to do and I'm here to help. And I say this because in a lot of dental hygiene Facebook groups, this is a very common question. A very common post is, um, I'm a dental hygiene, or I'm looking into dental hygiene, should I get into it? And everybody comment, like there's hundreds of comments saying, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But you know what, you guys, they're still working. So if they really hated it, they would be doing something else, right? If they weren't a dental hygienist, why are they in the dental hygiene group? So please don't, you know, read into that too much. They're just probably working for an office that they don't like. They haven't had a raise in 10 years, but that's their own fault because they're not asking for it. So don't listen to them, okay? Listen to me. If you want to be a dental hygienist, it's worth it. But let me tell you, school is very hard. It's very tough. If I can do it twice, you guys can do it once, okay? Trust me. You have school and then you take the board exam. But again, I can help you guys with that. That's what I tutor for. So please, if you want to do it, do it. Um, and I can say that 15 years later, if I had to do it all again, I would because it's worth it. I would not have my own practice. I would not have my amazing patients if I didn't become a dental hygienist. So I hope this helps you guys. Thank you for listening. Comment with your thoughts. I hope that this helps that dental hygiene student out there who's like, oh my God, I hate my life. School is so tough. You know, teachers hate me. Hey, I've been there. I've done that. I've been there. I've done that. Trust me. So I get it. But I do hope this helps. Comment below if you need anything. Click like. Make sure to click subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.